move on to your knickers, boys and girls. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way that I've found to attach your glass to your heated bed without stealing your mom's office supplies. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so what I'm going to be showing you is how to take your glass and mount it to your aluminum heated bed so that as you're printing, it doesn't slide around. Now, most people use these clips and just clip it on there, and that does work pretty well. But I wanted to think of a better way that allowed it to be more securely mounted to the bed so it didn't slide around. The first thing you're going to want to do is measure the X and Y distances of your print area. That way you can get a piece of glass that's about a quarter of an inch bigger in both X and Y directions. Now once you hit the glass cut, you can get your aluminum plate and drill holes that are just outside of the corners of the glass. When I first looked into getting glass for my heated bed, everyone told me to get borosilicate because normal window pane glass would crack under the extreme temperature change from heating up the bed. Well, I went ahead and went to Lowe's and got my glass cut just out of 3mm normal glass they had and this stuff's worked really well. I've done dozens of prints and haven't had any issues. Alright, now onto the mounting hardware. You're going to need two nuts, a screw, and a washer. Now, the nuts need to be thinner than the glass pane, and you can see here that my nut is 2.2 when the pane was 3 millimeters thick. And here is just a closer look so you can actually see how much thinner the nut is than the glass. Alright, assembly time. We gotta put our mounting hardware together, so we go ahead and take the screw and slide the washer down first against the head of it and then we tighten down the first nut so that it holds the washer in place. Now once that's good and snug, we go ahead and insert that into one of the holes of the four corners on our aluminum plate. Then we flip her over and put the last nut on, making sure that everything is tight against the aluminum plate. Now there should be a small gap between the washer and the plate. Here's a side view of how everything will ultimately be assembled. With the old clips, it was really quick to take the glass off the heated bed. Now this takes a couple more seconds to go and loosen all four corners, but then it easily slides out. Another reason why I was looking for an alternative to the clips is that they stick up pretty high from the heated bed and sometimes you'll crash your print head into them. Now with the low profile washers, there's no chance of doing that. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you out in your 3D printing adventures. Now, if you want to help me out, you can click on that like button. You can click on that subscribe button if you haven't already done that. And if you want, you can check out my Facebook and Twitter where I post a lot of other projects I haven't made into videos yet. The next big project I'm working on is I'm designing my own hot end. I've already got a couple prototypes made, but ultimately I'm trying to get something that's compact, really light, and works way better than the stock Ultimaker hot end. So stay tuned for updates on this one.